Okay, you guys, today I'm going to show you something that's actually really common. I see a lot of clients that get just kind of ridging down their nails. A lot of times it's from overpicking or poking at your cuticle area. It can be caused by injury, it can be caused by genetics, but we've got a lot of ridging down that nail. So today I'm going to show you how to use our manicure fiber gel to kind of fill that in and make that nail look a little bit more smooth and even. Okay, so for this nail, I'm gonna start by prepping just like we normally would do, but because this nail is a little bit more damaged and that cuticle is a little bit more delicate, so I just really wanna make sure that I'm not forcing that cuticle back. And because there is a lot of damage because of picking, there probably isn't a whole lot of cuticle work that needs to be done but just kind of check around your edges just to make sure if there is anything that needs to be cleaned up. We're gonna come in with our e-file and I'm gonna set my speed to about 4,000 RPMs. Again, because there's damage to this nail, I wanna be very gentle. I'm just gliding over the surface of that nail, not putting any pressure at all onto that nail. So just very, very lightly remove the shine, making sure that I get up into that cuticle area. At this point, I'm not trying to file out any of those ridges. I'm not trying to smooth out the nail. We're going to use the fiber gel to build up that nail. So I'm going to come in and dust off that nail. I'm going to use our swipe to cleanse. Make sure that you're getting all that dust out of the cuticle area and down the side walls. Okay, then we're going to come in with the protein bond. Now with this nail, I'm going to protein bond that whole surface because I want to make sure that we can just fill this nail as it grows out. If you are wanting to soak off your product in the future, only protein bond the free edge, but we're gonna leave this product on and just keep filling it over a few weeks. All right, I'm gonna use one of our new colors. This is one of our new fiber gel colors, and I'm going to do one thin layer just to kind of give me a base layer, and then I'll come back in after that and build up a little bit more and just kind of fill in those uneven spots. And I'm just gonna kind of float that right across that free edge. If you do get any product on the skin, make sure you use an orange wood stick, cuticle pusher, to clean that off before you put that into the light. We'll cure that for a quick 30 second freeze and then we'll move on to the next layer. Okay, so our first layer is cured. I'm gonna come back in with our second coat. So on my second coat, again, I'm just gonna do kind of a thin layer, and then I'm gonna build up over the surface of that. I like to do a thin layer first because then when I build up a little bit more of that structure, that first layer is gonna be kind of, it's gonna be a layer that my next coat is gonna just kind of melt into. So you can see that that product is really starting to self-level. So by having that initial layer on there, it just helps that product flow a little bit more. I'm just kind of using the tip of my brush, kind of like I'd be doing a gel, a hard gel, and moving that product around. So again, I'm gonna let this just kind of settle for a second, and then we'll put that into the light. So our second coat is cured. Now at this point, if you do need to do any filing or smoothing, you can wipe off that tacky surface and go ahead and file. I think this nail looks nice and smooth at this point, so I'm just gonna finish the nail with our manicure top coat. So just one quick layer of our top coat, and then we'll cure that again for a full 60 second cure. Again, if you do get any product onto the skin, make sure to clean that off before you go into the light. Okay, so our nail is fully cured out. Just gonna use a little bit of our mini Q cleanse to remove that tacky surface. Okay, so at this point, now I'm gonna go through with my file. Now remember when we started, we didn't have a whole lot of free edge to be working with. So you wanna make sure that you're not trying to take down too much. I'm just smoothing out that free edge so that there's no catches or anything that the nail is gonna get caught on. All right, we'll cleanse that just to remove that extra dust. And then we'll finish with just a little bit of either the rose oil or the citrus sugar oil, just to help recondition those cuticles. And then if we take a look at both fingers together, you can see how that manicure fiber gel really filled in to make that nail a little bit smoother and a lot prettier. So using the manicure fiber gel is a really good option for those clients that have either damage to their nail 
or if they have ridges in their nails, it's a really good product to help fill in those ridges and make a smoother finish to your nail. You can use the fiber gel under your gel polishes or just on its own. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and subscribe to channel.